The ever-evolving standard of quarterback play in the NFL has yielded a new desired prototype. The search for the static, Peyton Manning-style pocket passer is a thing of the past. Now, teams look for athletic extenders who can comfortably operate outside of offensive structure. And in terms of play style, there is nobody more fit for this era of quarterback play than Alabama's Bryce Young. Young is arguably the best improvisational passer we've ever seen enter the NFL draft. As long as he's upright and holding the football, the play is never dead. His most impressive reps come on broken plays like this one against Mississippi State. It's 3rd and 10, and Alabama called a cross-dig concept on the bunch side of the formation at the top of your screen, with a corner route from the tight end on the opposite side. Mississippi State showed blitz pre-snap with six defenders on the line of scrimmage, so Young kept his running back in to pick up the extra rusher. But post-snap, the defense dropped eight defenders into a cover three, with only three rushing the passer. Contact from the rotating linebacker on the strong side number two receiver running the crossing route threw off the timing of the concept, and Young had nobody open enough to target beyond the sticks. The pass rush collapsed the pocket before any Alabama receivers could separate, but Young made the rusher miss, extended the play, and threw a perfectly placed ball to JoJo Earl in the back of the end zone. The poise Young displays when extending the play is unbelievable. He never looks rushed or uncomfortable outside of structure, even when he has to wait over 10 seconds to find an open receiver like he did here. He's not quite as elusive as, say, Lamar Jackson or Kyler Murray, but Young is very good at making pass rushers miss in the backfield to keep plays alive. On this one from late in the fourth quarter of a close game against Texas, the Longhorns did a great job of disguising their coverage. Pre-snap, they show a two-deep safety shell with wide splits from those safeties, hinting at a mofo or middle-of-field open coverage. But post-snap, the defense sent an all-out cover zero blitz with six pass rushers against only five in protection. The pressure from the rushing wide corner got home before the downfield route concept could develop, but Young made the defender miss in the backfield and scrambled for a gain of 20 yards to put his team into field goal range with less than 30 seconds left in regulation. Young is a good enough athlete to make defenses pay for heavy blitzes and man coverage with his legs. His mobility is also complemented by a whippy throwing motion that allows Young to make accurate throws with velocity without a clean platform. Here it's 3rd and 6, and Bama's route concept calls for outbreakers from the number 2 and number 3 receivers on the bunch side of the formation, with an inside release go route from the number 1 and a dig from the tight end on the backside. Arkansas called man free, which is man coverage across the board with 5 defenders rushing the passer and a post safety. But here, instead of sending the high safety to cover the post, the Razorbacks assigned him to play the robber role and undercut any crossing routes in the intermediate middle of the field. Bryce Young saw the safety playing shallow post-snap, which told him that receiver Kendrick Law would be one-on-one -on -one with the wide corner in the deep middle of the field. While keeping his eyes downfield, Young stepped up in the pocket to give Law enough time to separate, then, without the ability to set his feet, he delivered a perfect ball that traveled well over 50 yards in the air. The velocity that Young can put on throws like these where he can't set his base is what makes his arm talent unique. He doesn't have top-tier NFL arm strength, but he does make off-platform throws better than anybody else in this class, and often does so with pinpoint accuracy. In 2022, Young's completion percentage was hurt by a drop rate of 8.2% from his receivers, but among Power 5 quarterbacks who threw at least 300 passes last season, Young ranked 5th in on-target pass percentage and 3rd in catchable pass percentage. He was one of the most accurate quarterbacks in the country, despite making a significant proportion of his throws off-platform. Here, Bama called a two-deep play-action concept known as Yankee, with a deep post from the number two receiver aligned to Young's right, and a deep crossing route from the number one aligned to his left. Tennessee called cover one, and the pre-snap motion from Alabama's number one receiver prompted a rock-and-roll check between the two safeties. In response to the motion, the post safety rotated to the top of your screen to out-leverage the man in motion, while the free safety took his spot in the deep middle of the field. Post-snap, Young rolled right to avoid the pressure coming from his blindside, and delivered a perfect ball to his tight end on that crossing route for a gain of 23 yards. The design of Bill O'Brien's offense, along with Young's tendency to hold onto the ball for a long time, subjected him to a high rate of defensive pressure, but Young's toughness and skill set allow for impressive production when faced with pressure. Young was pressured on 33.6% of his dropbacks last season, which was the 16th highest pressure rate among qualifying quarterbacks. On those pressured dropbacks, Young ranked 15th in completion percentage, 2nd in average yards per attempt, and 4th in passer rating. Despite his size, Bryce Young is unfazed by pressure. 
On this play from the 2021 National Championship against Georgia, Alabama is facing a third and 11, and called a dagger concept between the number one and number two receivers at the top of your screen with a deep crossing route from the number three. Georgia called cover one, so it's man covered across the board with a post safety and a five man blitz. The blitz call includes a stunt combination up front that tells N'Kobe Dean to slant his rush to the offensive left and Channing Tindall to follow as the looper. The timing of the blitz made it really tough for the center to get his hands locked on Tyndall's pads, so he came into the backfield almost unblocked. But despite the pressure in his face and the inability to set his feet, Young delivered a perfect touch pass that went right through the hands of his receiver. In command of this Alabama offense, Young has also displayed a very high football IQ, time and time again exhibiting the ability to both identify and exploit defensive calls. Take this play from back in week 5 against Arkansas as an example. Bama split their tight end out wide pre-snap in an effort to get a man zone identifier. The defense aligned a safety over the tight end out wide, which is almost always an indicator of man coverage. The lack of a high safety hinted at a blitz as well, so to get an idea of who was coming, Young gave a hard count. The safety aligned to the bottom of your screen, Simeon Blair, bit, which told Young where the blitz was coming from. In response, he adjusted the pass protection call to slide toward the blitz, and he knew that because Blair was blitzing, the shallow hole to his left would be open for his number two receiver on a slant route. Post-snap, Young was quick to let go of the ball and was rewarded with a 47-yard touchdown on third and short. His game is more polished than any other quarterbacks in this class, but there are a couple causes for concern as to how Young will fare at the next level, the less significant of which is his tendency to extend when he doesn't need to. Young's greatest strength is his ability to extend the play, but his comfort level when extending often leads him to hold onto the ball rather than taking easy yards. On this first down from the first quarter of Alabama's game against Tennessee, Bama called a concept known as Mesh Rail. The call tells the weak side X receiver and tight end to run intersecting crossing routes, with a hook route over the middle from the strong side Z receiver and a rail route from the running back. The receivers running the shallow crossers are coached to sit their routes down in open space against zone coverage, and here, the tight end did. Young was a bit late to get his eyes there, but there was more than enough space for him to fit this in to create a gain of 8 or 10 yards. He instead held onto the ball and drifted away from the line of scrimmage before making an insane throw to Kobe Prentice on the sideline for a gain of 8 yards. A couple drives later, Bama called the same route concept against a similar coverage, which again told the receivers to sit down in space. This time, the zone defenders did a nice job of condensing the middle of the field, but that allowed for open space on both sidelines. Young got his eyes locked onto his receivers over the middle, and when the windows were too small, he got jittery in the pocket despite good pass protection. He made a good throw to his running back down the sideline here, but only after holding onto the ball for nearly 5 seconds. Most NFL defensive lines simply aren't going to allow quarterbacks to do this. Windows are going to be tighter, pockets are going to collapse faster, and at least early on, Young is going to struggle to find the right balance between staying within and abandoning offensive structure. Now, in terms of pure play style, this is my only major issue with Young's game. He will need to clean up his footwork a bit as well, but any criticism beyond that is nitpicky in my opinion. The unfortunate reality, however, is that the biggest obstacle for Young going forward is something he has no control over. You've probably heard it a million times by now, he's short. 5'10 is incredibly small for an NFL quarterback, and even though he weighed in at 204 at the combine, I think his playing weight is closer to 190. Young is going to be an outlier in terms of size, and at his size, durability concerns are inevitable. He takes a whole lot of big hits, which speaks to how tough he is, but he already has an injury history, and betting on a player to succeed as an outlier is risky to begin with, especially for young front offices. At the same time though, Young excels when throwing to the intermediate middle of the field, a category in which quarterbacks his size are usually limited. In 2022, when throwing to a target in between the numbers at a depth of 10 to 30 yards, Young ranked 4th among Power 5 quarterbacks in attempts, 2nd in catchable pass rate, 14th in average net yards per attempt, and 10th in passer rating. Despite the injury concerns, Young has displayed the ability to overcome his size. He's best fit for a system that emphasizes hard play action and long developing route concepts with protection schemes that create lanes for him to see his receivers downfield, which, to me, makes Houston the perfect match for Young. Newly hired Texans head coach D'Amico Ryans brought Bobby Slowick along with him from San Francisco to be his offensive play caller. 
and Slowick is another member of the perpetually growing Shanahan coaching tree. Mike Shanahan gave Slowick his first coaching job in Washington back in 2011. Then in 2016, Slowick joined Kyle Shanahan's 49ers, where he eventually took on the role of pass game coordinator. Slowick will install his interpretation of the Shanahan wide zone offense in Houston, and this scheme would bring out the best in Bryce Young. I landed on a mid-first round grade for Young, slightly lower than my grade on CJ Stroud, but Young and Stroud are both in the same pro-ready category. Despite the rarity of the undersized franchise quarterback, there's always one who figures it out every few years. 20 years ago it was Drew Brees, then it was Russell Wilson, and now it's Kyler Murray. Bryce Young has the talent to be next. But whether or not he creeps into that elite category, watching Young play backyard football every Sunday is going to be entertaining as hell. But that's all I've got for today. If you'd like to support the channel, you can check out my Patreon and Twitter, both of which are linked at the top of the description. I will be back soon with a scouting report on TCU receiver Quentin Johnston, so until then, peace.